Oh wait, are you going first or I'm going first? I'll go. I'll go. Okay. <laughs> you introduce yourself, I'll introduce myself. Alright. Hi, my name's Gabriel Cashit. I'm 18. I'm Simon Cashit, and I'm also 18. We're from Australia, but we were born in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And, and we ship out of Navy Boot Camp. <laughs> <laughs> we get asked everywhere we go. Yes, we are twins. Uh, we're not identical though. Paternal. Or is it paternal? Paternal. Ah, doesn't matter. I guess you've always got that best friend next to you. Yeah. I guess we've never really had that, so that's going to be different once we get assigned to a boat or if we're not in the same company in boot camp. So, my name, my country, my country's name. Um, I haven't been practicing as much as I should, that's for sure. I'm not going to lie about that. All over the world. Around the world. Around You're the really world. butchering it here. It, it was a long waiting period, but then this past month has just gone by um, so quickly that. Yeah, it's unbelievable. No turning back now. <laughs> yeah. All right. Got that doctor hand right. Rachel Jones. Then what else did you say? You could put like a personal message, like a quick word of wisdom for everyone to read. What would I put? I mean, Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm 24 years old. I live in Alexandria, Virginia, and I'm getting ready to ship off to Navy boot camp. So I studied French at George Mason. Um, I was there for four and a half years. I took a year to study abroad in France. When we were in college, I would have never expected you to go to like the military. Oh, I really about. appreciate the group of friends that I have made. Um, I made them at Mason as well. I'm not gonna cry. So like a bomb. Oh my Future Sailor Jones requested Initially to going in there and talking to the Navy, I was a little bit apprehensive. Once I walked into the recruiting station that this is something that I, I really did want to do. Future Sailor, what is your first general order? Petty Officer, my first general order is to take charge of this post and all government property in view, Petty Officer. Hmm. <laughs> no, you <laughs> I expect it to be challenging. I don't expect it to be difficult um, because thinking about how many people a year go through boot camp, it cannot be that hard. Basic training is designed to actually train you, from, break you down from who you are as an individual and lift you up as a team. You know, so you'll get that. You know, and it'll give you direction for the rest of your career. Yeah, I remember seeing my dad come pick me up from elementary school in his uniform, and I'm just like, yep, that's my dad, yep, he fights bad guys. So now that I'm getting to put on that uniform, and now my youngest brother will be able to see me and think that I'm super cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's really cool that I get to be one of the select few who does get this honor of being able to defend our country. So I feel very proud about that. It's an adventure. Hi, I'm Luis, I'm 19 years old. I was born in El Salvador, uh, live in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I'm about to leave for boot camp. Uh, my favorite part of Baton Rouge will be downtown. You know, me as a, being as a creative person, I, I love taking pictures of the places of, this, of, the, of the city. But from whenever I moved to Baton Rouge, I remember I, I hear laughs and I hear people talking about me and you know saying that he, he's the guy who doesn't know any English and it's stuff like that. And then 
here I am now. I'm about to join the Navy and I'm really excited about it. So, right. It was so quick. I, I, like, it feels like it was yesterday that I called you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's Two weeks like me before I got my citizenship, I called my recruiter off, my recruiter. And then like, I think two weeks after I got my citizenship, I got sworn in in the office. So you, it all, it was a perfect timing. Are you gonna be sad, happy? You gonna be happy when I'm gone. Why? Because she's gonna be proud of you. I, I gotta be proud. I did a lot of research. Well, not a lot, but I've done some research on um, what boot camp is like. Uh, I'm not really scared about it. I um, have a mindset. I think that if I go in there thinking that I'm the best, it's gonna higher my standards of what I can actually do. I'm nervous. See, it didn't hit me back then, but now it's just starting as the time getting closer. You know, it's, it's getting. Bigger. They're proud. My parents are really proud about me joining the military. Um, of course, they are a little bit sad that I'm leaving, but they know it's for the best of me, so that that makes up for it. And uh, I'm gonna miss you guys. We will miss you a lot. I miss you guys a lot. But you know, same like your mom. Feel so happy, and you happy? I'm my happy. So happy. Whenever we left El Salvador, my my mom left all her family behind. Um, she came here to absolutely nothing. She she it was she did it all for me, and and I really consider my my parents heroes for me. You know, doing that the huge sacrifice of leaving the whole family behind used to give me and my brothers a better life. It's something I gotta take advantage of. You know, if, I, if I'm living in this beautiful country, I'm gonna take advantage of that. And I'm trying to do that the best way I can by joining the military. Then we get breakfast and then it's a whole day. Hurry up, let's go. Get on the bus. Let's go. Hurry up, move. Let's go. Get on the bus. Go. Your bags, all your straps, keep your legs inside. This aisle will stay clear so I can walk up and down the aisle. There will be no sleeping. There will be no talking. We will ride this bus in complete silence. Is that understood? Yes, Petty yes, Officer. Is that understood? Yes, Petty Officer. I would like to commend you on your decision to serve this great nation and welcome you to the beginning of your journey in the United States Navy. Now, you are about to undertake a rigorous and intense training program that has prepared generations of sailors for service in the world's most powerful Navy. Whether you call it recruit training or boot camp, make no mistake about it, it's hard. It's designed to be hard, because joining the Navy is so much more than just getting another job. When you get off the bus, you will walk with a purpose, like you mean to accomplish something tonight. Is that understood? Yes, Navy officer! 